Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Hymn of the Week. It's always good to see you and spend these few minutes together as we consider some beautiful music and some thoughts around them. This week our focus is on Jesus as a friend. That's what the hymn is about. And our passage also talks about Jesus being our friend. I don't know how you frame your relationship with God, but Jesus says we are his friends. It's a very personal thing, a very close and intimate thing to be called a friend. Sometimes we run the risk in our faith of reducing it to precepts and concepts and, and doctrine, and those are important to be sure. But at the heart of it is a relationship with Jesus, a person whom we can know and love and follow. So listen and think about that as I read this text from John chapter 15 this morning. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. This is my command, love each other. Our hymn of the week is Jesus, What a Friend of Sinners. Written by J. Wilbur Chapman, composer Roland W. Pritchard. In Luke 7 34, the Pharisees who opposed Jesus accused Jesus being, of being a friend of tax collectors and sinners. An accusation intended as an insult turned out to be an unintended compliment. The title of this hymn is based on this unintended compliment. Jesus, what a friend of sinners. To know that we are loved by God is life-giving. To know Jesus as a friend is life-sustaining, saving, helping, keeping, loving. He is with me to the end. J. Wilbur Chapman was born June 17, 1859. Although growing up in a Christian home, he could not recall a specific moment of his conversion. As a 17-year-old boy, this troubled him, and he struggled with doubt. It was then that he attended a service where D.L. Moody was the preacher. He was the first to respond to the invitation and go to the follow-up room. There, D.L. Moody himself sat down with him, and Wilbur expressed his lack of assurance. Moody quoted John 5, 24. I tell you the truth, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. He repeated the passage a second time. And then again, until the truth took hold of his heart and he left with a sense of certainty that Jesus truly was his savior. I recently watched a documentary on the eruption of Mount St. Helens. What was most striking was the number of times those who were rescued became lifelong friends with their rescuers. This was true of Wilbur Chapman, Jesus who rescued him was his true and closest friend. 
he could sing with conviction, Hallelujah, what a Savior. Hallelujah, what a friend. After graduating from seminary, he was ordained as a Presbyterian minister. In time, he became a prominent evangelist and Bible conference speaker, not only in America, but in many countries of the world. He was truly a worldwide evangelist, preaching in more countries than any other evangelist in his times. His life, however, was not without trials and setbacks. He was married to Irene Stettin, May 10th, 1882. She died four years later, shortly after having given birth to their first child. He was remarried to Agnes Strain on November 4th, 1888. They had four children, but lost a son in his infancy. In 1907, his second wife also died, leaving him a widower with four children. Wilbur Chapman, although he remained active, was frequently ill during the last 13 years of his life, from 1905 to 1918. It was during these trying years that he wrote our Hymn of the Week. He died on Christmas Day, 1918, a few days after undergoing surgery for gallstones. He was deceased at the relatively young age of 59. The hymn, Jesus, What a Friend of Sinners, was written in 1910 in the midst of these trying times. In his hymn, he extols the virtues of his great Savior and friend, and stanza one, what a friend of sinners. In stanza two, what a strength in weakness. In stanza three, what a help in sorrow. In stanza four, more than all in him I find. Each stanza is followed by the refrain, Hallelujah, what a Savior! Hallelujah, what a friend! Saving, helping, keeping, loving, He is with me to the end. The music was written by Roland W. Pritchard, the song arranged by Robert Harkness. Listen to the music as played by Calvin and Heather Dick, and follow the words by J. Wilbur Chapman on your screens. Jesus, what a friend of sinners, our hymn of the week.